Hello and good morning everybody. At least it is morning here in Space Engineers. I welcome you to my fifth episode of Space Engineers Survival Playthrough, The Book Hunt. And today, among all days, is the episode when we will reach our first waypoint. I'm extremely, extremely happy about it, because the past few episodes were a bit of a, a pain. <laughs> we did manage to get ourselves a base, and we made it fly. And after much trouble with the asserts, I managed to go pretty close to the, to the first waypoint with all the equipment that I have. And this is where we are now, hovering roughly 20 kilometers from the waypoint. And I was waiting for the sun to come up, because I wanted to see that waypoint with my own eyes, not just land there in the middle of the dark. It will be fantastic. We will go in a second. I just need to check a few things, make sure that everything is okay, and slowly wait for the sun to come up behind us. The waypoint is roughly in that direction. And uh, it seems while we are hovering, we will not lose uh, fuel, only just a little bit of energy, I think. So in general, we are in a very good shape. I thought I will have to stop uh, somewhere, because one fuel tank will not be enough. But look at that, we still have some to spare. Okay, let me quickly look at the... Oh, look at Mars, how great it looks. So lovely. We will get there someday, as well as to the alien planet, and anything else that might be in the solar system. Let me quickly check on that fuel. Alright, so now we are at 43% with the hydrogen. And we have two days of power left. So we are we are very good and stable just here. Oh yeah. And uh, in last episode I managed to rebuild the wasp. I still have some armor plating to do on it, but in general it's functional. It has four hydrogen engines, eight small hydrogen tanks. Those are to generate power. And atmospheric thrusters for the moment, which are used to move around in the air. I put wheels on it, because in case we would be out of all the uh, hydrogen engine stuff, we should still be able to move with this on the ground, if we need to approach a base with stealth. It should be good, it has survival kit, it has two O2 generators, not because it actually needs it, but only because I wanted to make it somewhat symmetrical. Oh, just noticed this one section here is not even done. Let me quickly connect that. We, we still have plenty of time before the sun would come up. I say another five minutes perhaps. So if nothing interesting happens, I will just forward ahead to the point when I'm ready to 
go to the chapter 1 location and discover what we have there. <laughs> if you have seen uh, my Twitter account, you probably have a guess about what we will find there, but for those who are new to this and have not seen those posts, I just keep it a secret until we reach that location. Alright, I cut back to you in a few minutes. Seems the sun is up, not fully, but it should be enough so we will see our waypoint. I do hope it will be a clear weather. So let's go there. worried there for a in the distance. Let's check it. <laughs> and there you guys see that. It looks like an observatory. Five kilometers out. On the lake shore. Let's descend a bit. I think it would be better if I would just aim for that lake. We'll see what we see when we get there. Our stopping power is very low, so I don't need to press anything to go forward from now on. Hello, engineer. 
Are you able to hear me? Oh? Who is that? I am one of the AI nodes for the observatory you are approaching. I'm called Oracle. You have no idea how happy I am to pick up your visuals on my sensors. Please tell me you plan to stop here for a moment. I have a favor to ask. A favor? What type of a favor? I want to ask you to take me with you. The observatory workers left this place after discovering something on a faraway planet in the solar system. It was a ruin of some sorts. They just packed one day and left, leaving me and my coordinating sub-nodes here without further instructions. I'd be eternally grateful if you'd find a way to free me from here. You can't imagine how boring this place is sometimes. Alrighty. That, that sounds fair. Where can I find you? You can find me in the dedicated computing sub-level, accessible from inside the observatory main hall. <laughs> it seems we will have a companion. Oh, it's a bit foggy. I hope I will not crash. I will need to descend slowly. I need to be super careful about where I will land in this fog. Our 500 meter distance upwards will very quickly melt away. If I try to move this nearly 700,000 kilograms, just barely see the outline of the lake. Let me cut forward when I'm a bit closer to it. Just a patch of fog. I already see something there on the side of the lake. Seems to be a ruin of, an, of a base. We will need to investigate that too. They're probably not the first ones here. Alright, so the observatory is there. I just need to stop, release my landing gear and very, very, very slowly I need to descend.
land in the ice because if we ever plan to move from here then we will need hydrogen and it's in general easier to land on a flat surface I can just jet back up there but nothing stops me from getting closer a bit maybe there on the shore under us that will be a good location Alright, 40 meters. We are getting close. I can almost lick it. We try to put it into sea level. And by that I don't mean in the sea ah. here it should be good let me gently put it down And we are down. Uh, let me straighten it up a bit. Here we go. Perfection. Right. Let's look around. And find that AI. This observatory looks so very cool. Wow. Look at that. So beautiful. Oh, it's even working. Let me try to get up there. Wow, such a big building. And what a view. Who wouldn't want to work in this? Oh wow, look at that. This is definitely a better place than where we came from. In the middle of the ice. An entrance here. Okay. Let's get in. Oh, wow! Look at that. The big telescope. I bet you can see the hair on the back of a fly in the furthest planet of this solar system with this one. Oh, yes, the observatory is quite a marvel of engineering. You can look through the telescope at night yourself if you wish. 
Oh, wow. Look at that. Oh, there is a control block here. Oh. You can actually look through it. How cool is that? You can still see some of the closer asteroids, even in daylight, if you look closely. I could also rotate it. I will not do that yet. <laughs> but it's very cool. Look at that. Oh, wow. I just want to look into the lens. Let's see what it, what's there. Oh wow, it's glass. Multiple layers of glass on the camera. Such a creative solution. I never would have thought of this. I mean, for, you know, this whole shape and, and to build it and to move it and to rotate it. Whoever made this mod was a genius. Such a lovely place. Oh! And there is our server room. Let's find that AI. Oh. Only authorized personnel. Let's say we are authorized. Indeed you are. Access granted. And the lights come out. Oh. Seems to be there is little security now that the people who are working here vanished. Let's get it there. Alright, alright. See, there's sufficient cooling and spare parts. Oh, and there is the AI. <laughs> it looks a bit weird. Hello there. Thank you for finding me. I hope you considered my request. I'm not sure how will you get me out of here though, but you are a space engineer. I'm confident that you will manage. Oh yeah, we will find a way. Hopefully we won't need to take the whole building with us. But perhaps the central part it should be enough. Oh look at that, there's something in there too. Oh my, there are multiple of these. Those are my coordinating sub-nodes. They are no longer active. All right, they, they do look inactive. That is weird. Don't worry, the mood indicator lights are permanently switched off, but all my sensors are operating within expected parameters. Fancy. All right, let, let, let me look around a bit. And uh, I will find a solution to to get the AI block out of here. Take your time, engineer. I'm not going anywhere. Because it seems nobody will come back for it. I'm gonna check that base quickly. That was on the lake too. Just to see how that was. Oh, I need to be super duper careful with my pack of hydrogen because I don't have. Ow. I don't have ice there at the moment, so I need to dig something and fly up there. 
Hopefully not in my usual way of flying. Bottoms. Oxygen generator. Alright, so I know that my oxygen generator is this one here. It should be piped up. Unless something has been damaged. Let me see. Conveyor junction 100%. Conveyor tube. 100% or two generator 100% small cargo container small cargo container so there's a full connection between the O2 gen on the base and the cargo containers and I'm still not able to access it weird So, it should be good. We have some capacity to fly. We are super fly. Alright. Oh, whatever base is that, I will probably need some kind of a protection. It was over there. Alright, so this looks like an asset base which was destroyed. Let's just say they did this to themselves. But there are some materials here that we can probably get if we are careful. I don't know what's down Sounds good. Alright, so nothing can shoot in at us yet. But here's a sensor. Let's make it not being there. Three options. Oh, what the heck? Something was shooting at us. Let me get there and see what it was. I just knew it's an SL base. When something is shooting at us out of nowhere. There is our body. <laughs> and what is oh there it is. What an evil evil thing to do. To put a turret. There. Such an evil thing to do. Oh, 
so it seems that part of the base has been sorting itself out already. Timer blocks. Yeah, before they get some ideas. Asset base is deadly every time, all the time, until you grind it down. Oh, do I see it right? No, for a second I thought I saw another shooty shooty gun. Alright, so this seems to be not shooting at us yet but there isn't also anything here okay Seems to be. Oh, I saw that. <laughs> I saw that. Ah. All right, mate. I'm good with that. Oh. Uh oh again. Either I'm too bad at this or these bases have been designed by an evil man. I hope our body will not despawn before we can reach it. Alright, so we went down there and we went in that direction, right? Oh, no, no, no. All right. This is not our but no our body with the maximum level 2 have been despawned I hate despawning stuff in space engineers it was such a bad idea especially for your stuff even if you are this close as we are to this place it's impossible to recover your stuff if you are getting killed by something. Impossible. And of course everything despawns that is not connected to power, so... Why there isn't? Maybe it's just stupid, there's a setting for it somewhere probably, but I have not ever seen a setting for this, so... I think the default is that it despawns after 5 minutes and there's no nothing you can do to change that. 
Anyway, I don't really need to get there for the moment. I will probably take the resources from this base eventually. But it's not a threat. So I leave it in this condition for a bit. I have some other more important things to do. Like I need to slap the AI to my ship. Hmm. I think the best way to get it, although I'm a bit hesitant to damage this construction, would be to make a, a door on it somewhere close to the server room. And then just make some sort of a, a forklift and then with a forklift pull it outside and then we can use our wasp to attach it to the ship somewhere. Solid plan, engineer. Yeah. Let's see where that server room is leading out to the side. I just cut a little hole. Alright, so this is the server room. I probably need to grind all of this away. Because this slope we can probably get to. And then we can go down here and then attach ourselves to this block here and grind stuff around that. I think hey, there's a battery behind it. So what we can do is basically grind everything out leaving the these four blocks just because they look very cool they are survival kits but who cares we will not use them for survival <laughs> we just take the ai and then we will carefully get out of here i probably need to grind these as well so i need to make a small ship forklift that can fit through three blocks in size and it is not higher than two blocks in size. That might be a tight fit. Yeah. I can actually operate with a limited capacity without my SK connection points. You only need to move the main cognitive node. You can rebuild the SK connections on your ship. Yeah, let me make this happen. Yeah, so this is our entrance. I might need to do some more magic here. Probably some very gentle slope from here down there. Or maybe just something out here. And then sloping that way because that's I am, that's where our ship is. Remnants. Alright. Oof. This task is harder than what I would imagined. 
but I will find a solution to it for sure. That's the spirit engineer. That was close. Oh no! Oh! All right. <clears throat> Would that I specifically made a ramp? for this kind of occasion. Alright, so let me get some materials and I will try to build that very small forklift, probably close to the observatory and then I will figure out how it works. Or I think I should just build it here in the yard and I can transport it there with the wasp. Yeah, that, that would work. Just need to make sure about one thing. I had an idea in case something nasty will spawn around us, which is always an option. All of these. I will create a button. Okay, I don't actually need that button right now. But I need to make sure that my turrets are ready. Later on I wanted to create a button that will switch all the turrets on and off in case we need to save something. Yeah, this will already 
on. I just wanted to make sure that they are in working condition. Right, everything seems to be loaded. Let me start building then. Oh no, I will need some tools. Warning. Assertive attack ships approaching. Oh. I had not expected it so early. My timing was perfect. Are you all right, engineer? I give it to them. Trying to slug away. Yeah. You get what you deserve. Ah. Oh. I don't even need to do anything. But this also means that we have a, an SR base somewhere in that direction and we just landed. We just freaking landed. I bet it's that one there. I see something shiny. Just one or two pixels, but it's enough to observe observer. Yeah. Let me quickly give it some laughter before it starts sending us all kinds of things. This is why we made the mosquito. And I don't want a situation like in previous episode where I had to spend the whole day fixing and repairing this sort of stuff. Alright, so... First off, we will need... shells. We will need... Oh no, what do you mean small cargo container not quite up? So we have six shells, that will probably not be enough. Let me see if I can make more. Not 200 though, but like this much. Maybe a bit more. I will also need tools. Yeah, I can get. I have a good grinder, so just this one and that one. These are the best tools we have at the moment. And I have... Warning! Assertive attack ships approaching. The shells. I need to get rid of those. Alright. First around. 
battery is on. I am on. And I am on the rock. Ah, what the dickens. Why can't I fly? I can't freaking believe this. What, what the hell? Maybe I put the batteries on charge. Of course, they only recharge. Why even? Why do I even have this setting? Ow! Damn it! Freaking damn it! Of course it is blasting. Ah, oh, I hate this. With the passion of a thousand suns, I hate this. This is not rubbing me the right way. And there you go, they send another asset. I hate this. I hate the Warning. assert. Assertive attack ships approaching. So the place this one has. Oh no! No fucking way! Ramming into my face, you asshole! All right, so this I I absolutely hate this, but we need to do something about it. Let me throw this one here, and uh, what does this one for? Batteries. I will not touch those. Batteries on. Engines on. This one. Is on. Thrusters on. This is instable too. Oh, God damn it! I hate this. I hate everything. are not on the recharge. Warning. Assertive attack ships approaching. They're not stockpiling. The engines are on. The batteries are on. Why the freak are they still recharging? I said I think my game is crashing.
All right, so I deem this good. Seven, view there. And let's give them some. This one has such a blowback, I don't even see if I managed to hit them. Without their power, but they still have battery. I don't particularly see the hunter now. Maybe. Let me just pepper in the general direction. their guts is out oh they are no longer red this was a nightmare and then absolutely bad with nightmare all right I come back for that later for the moment, let's just go back. I guess you have not noticed, I'm absolutely shit with stress and situations that involve quick thinking and quick decision making. Like how to act in a battle scenario. Let me land this back on its place. And I will probably need to arrange my icons better because I was so bad at reacting. It's because everything was freaking off or recharging or stockpiling and I literally I had zero idea how to switch everything on at once. Because if you leave it on then of course you will never have everything recharged so you definitely need to leave them in stockpiling and everything you definitely need this base beefed up a bit more I need to extend real estate on it make sure that we have enough turrets in every direction so we don't need to be afraid of assets I just need to find more ammunition and such The vast actually is fairly good and stable if we have hydrogen. I don't say it's a very good vehicle though, because uh, it, it is heavily dependent on hydrogen. My preferred method would be to just have uranium and add reactors to it but we don't have anything of such right, so just enough to get to the nearby acid and pick their parts <laughs> I should have blueprinted the mosquito all right priority board priority board Make it fly custom gyros with it that I said base, yeah we did that. Was 
waypoint, second hydro tank and reactor. Oh yeah. I put that for later on. Now the priorities are uh, what will be my priorities? I wanted to beef up the base a little bit, not much, just enough to make sure that the uh, turrets are connected. I probably want to connect them under the ship because then they can share ammunition so even if something has happened I mean they would run out in one place they can pull comfortably for, from the rest of the inventory so I need to connect all the turrets to the cargo containers Then the next thing I want to do is some cleanup. I don't really like many wrecks around my base. Then I need to design a small forklift then I need to lift the AI and attach it to the ship and when we have that we can have a chat with the AI about our mission and then hopefully with a new clue because we some we still have I think the first part of the book we are searching for on this base somewhere so we need to find that too and hopefully that will give us a clue about where to find the rest of the chapters of the book our next waypoint if we have that then waypoint number two before we can get there I want to add the second tank to shape the ship up a bit to set its ship shape <laughs> so what I mean by that is that this is looking like a very ugly ship I will probably need to extend this here a little bit forward and I need to make sure that these thrusters here are at least a little bit protected oh look at that how nice the planets are visible from here all right so this will be a long night I will skip ahead when I accomplished some of the things that I was planning to. See you in a short while. Alright. We had a pleasant, quiet evening. No new asserts have been planted around us luckily it was dark but 
luckily it was eventless. I was working through the night I managed to create a junctioning under my base. So now basically all the turrets that I have are connected to the cargo container, which is good. I don't need to run around and check if they were anyway damaged by the connector and have enough ammunition. As long as we have ammunition, they will be able to find it and pull it. I wanted to check how much ammunition we have actually. More box, so. 115, 12, 12, 4, 8. So it's not particularly much. So among my plans, I somewhat needs to force in a trip around the lake to check what kind of resources we have because if you look at the lake from a bit higher up you see the resource deposits there there and I think around that abandoned desert base there as well let me quickly take a look at what kind of resources are these. If we are lucky, they are useful to us. Nickel, alright, I'm not yet impressed. There's a lot of nickel, that's good. Cobalt, alright, that's, that's better. Nickel, cobalt. to be a lot of copper, cobalt here, that's good. I don't mind that. So, iron. Oh yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. I was looking for an iron deposit ever since we started out, because in the original location we didn't have any iron. What I'm actually looking for is magnesium, and I will need to find magnesium eventually because we are running out of ammunition and hostile bases are always an option let me take a look at this iron, alright we have a lot of iron lot and lot lots of iron Iron, iron, iron everywhere. Alright, so I don't really see much else, just iron. You'll see the repos resource deposit here, but maybe I'm just not penetrating enough into the eyes to see what's in there. I will need something with a, a lot more depths like an ore detector iron all right so we we have no problem with iron please be there some magnesium i would be the happiest man alive if you would have magnesium Gold. That's good too, because if there's gold, there's silver. Gold, gold, gold. That's good. Although we don't yet need much of gold, I wish I would take some of this eventually. Old. Yeah, so gold, all right. Let's see what we had around that base. 
Because this is a resource deficit as well. And it's silicon. Okay. Silicon is good. Last time I found magnesium, it was next to silicon. Nickel. Alright. Silicon. Silicon nickel. Alright, I'm not yet impressed, but I'm also not bad. Uh, we will not you save this critical. one. Alright, so we have a lot of silicon, nickel, iron, some gold. And here is nickel again. Oh! There it is! Magnesium! Right next to the base. I will need to dig some out of this as soon as I have my jetpack. Running of shame. Back on foot. Because I can't manage my... Oh, there's so much magnesium here. I still see it here. Ah. Uh, Alright, so this is a huge weight off my shoulders now that I know that we have magnesium. Because if we have magnesium we will have ammunition. And if we have ammunition, no assert will pose a threat to us. Actually, instead of running back and forth with one backpack full of magnesium, I will probably take the wasp there and fill its inventory. It should be able to handle that trip. That's why I put two cargo containers on it. Let's do that. Alright, so connector off. Engine is on. Cluster is on. Oh, yeah. And those like a charm. I was a bit sensitive, but that's alrighty. Actually, I don't need to spend that much thruster, I can drive as well. But it's okay. the big refinery can make us some stuff. Yes, magnesium. Finally. Nothing will step uh, stand in our way of world domination. Alright, so in terms of production, I will need like a bunch of this for the wasp. I need like several bunch of this, like 100, maybe even two. For that, I will need several containers of this, so let's do 100 as well. Oh yeah, so good to see that everything is just building nicely. Alright, so... I am actually not particularly comfy with the 
gun situation. Although we were able to head our own against assets. It was not actually a decisive victory, we got damaged last time with this amount of turrets. What I wanted to do is... Uh, I wanted to give a little bit of real estate on the base on this side. So basically I will expand it a little bit. Just enough so we have enough space to, to build maybe a large container. Because I don't particularly like all that small containers, I like to have my stuff in one place. But for that we will probably need to put it somewhere in the middle. So everything has a good access to it. I wanted to redesign this bit a little, this part of our base a little bit. And uh, yeah, I wanted to add a second tank somewhere there, connect it somehow, and make sure this is the last piece that we still don't own in this base. But I didn't want it to just grind it down because it has valuable fuel in it. So yeah, I wanted to redesign this. Add the second fuel tank, extend the space in this direction. I wanted to eventually make this look like a little bit like a ship, but we will see how that goes. Although atmospheric thrusters are not bad in when it comes to uh, traveling in the atmosphere, I suspect after we get our second waypoint, we will not see much of Earth's atmosphere, so eventually I will need to redesign all the thrust on this ship to a singular one. And that singular one will be hydrogen for the time being. When we spend a lot more time in space, I might change my mind and add a few Ionic thrusters as well because those are actually fairly good at traveling in space. And the current directional thrust that we have is not enough, not by a long shot. Not even not enough even in the wasp. <laughs> I just noticed it as I was coming back that slowing down is fairly hard, so I will probably need to put two more uh, backwards facing thrusters like those, so we can stop faster. <laughs> Number one cause of space engineer death is not being able to stop fast enough when you need to. Pro tip here. Alright, so I I, I'm not sure how long this video will be. OBS says that it's recording for nearly th three hours. So that is usually the length of how much I record for one episode. So I think I will make a cut here. And I will start episode 6 with the remaining of our Uh, renovations of this base and expansions and also not forget we still have an AI to rescue from this observatory that's right very important task I just noticed this is smoking <laughs> I think maybe some of the asserts might have tried to shoot it down yeah <laughs> I guess that happens. It's alright. If it has no antenna, it will not be discovered. But the more I think of it, the more I believe that the asset spaces are 
spawning not because I have an antenna but because I'm in, in game so it doesn't really matter if I have an antenna or not correct me if I'm wrong down in the comments but I think that that uh, that's a fair assumption after our last episode when they were spawning even when we had no antenna or beacon of any kind I think now that I think about it, we actually might have an antenna on our side. I have Oom, which is my personal antenna. I think that helps us identify our body when we die. So I usually not switch that off. But maybe that is also considered an antenna and they will spawn and detect that antenna from far. I know, if any of you knows how the asset bases and drones are summoned, let me know down in the comments and I will learn from it. About this episode, well, thanks very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it <laughs> and I hope that you will like our new companion. Today I will be with me for the rest of this journey in the Space Engineer series and uh, she will give us some helpful assistance once she is attached to our ship, like switching on our turrets when enemies are coming, helping me navigate, calculate jump distance when we will have a jump drive eventually and so on. Nia is always a useful thing to have, right? That's correct. And I'm happy to help. Alright, thank you very much for, every, for, for watching this episode, everyone. If you like it, drop it a thumbs up down under the video. And see you in the next one. Bye-bye.